Hi friends. I hope you're all doing well. Um, it's been a, already a long winter over here. It's been uh, a month earlier. Earlier in November we had uh, already a lot of snow. Uh, we had ice storms and minus 20s, minus 30s. Um, yeah. <laughs> and um, I seem to be catching colds and flu all the time, which I'm not used to, but maybe the too short summer we had and now the too long winter. Um, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> so uh, I've been craving like spices, uh, warming spices and ginger and garlic and uh, uh, chilies and all that stuff. So tonight I'm going to do dal. Uh, Indian food. Um, uh, it's an easy one with uh, red lentils. So I've put two cups of red lentils in my pot with six cups of water and I'm gonna add some pieces of ginger, two or three little pieces of ginger. Um, I'm gonna bring this to a boil. Oh yeah, I rinsed the lentils and drained well. And now I'm going to bring this to boil and then uh, uh, let it simmer for 25 minutes, 20, 25, 30, depends how old your lentils are and, and so on, um, until they're totally cooked. The important thing to remember for, well, it's not really important, it's this, the way I do it is the ratio of one lentils to three uh, liquid. So, um, but depends in India, there's many, many different ways and some eat it very thick, some eat it very um, liquidy. So if you find it too thick, just put some more water once it's cooked. Uh, or if you want it thicker, just boil it off a little bit longer and it's going to be thicker. Okay, so meanwhile I've been prepping for the seasoning for the dal. I'm melting some butter. Um, it could be ghee. Ghee is clarified butter, but regular butter will be fine. Uh, clar clarified butter keeps better than regular butter, so in a warm country it makes a lot of sense to clarify. But this will be fine. I'm gonna saute an onion. Uh, and and he can also cook at higher temperature without burning. So it doesn't brown like regular butter, but we're just gonna saute. Oops. Saute here. I'm just until the, the onions are translucent, so maybe four or five minutes. This is about medium. So now that the onion is translucent, there was one onion, I don't remember if I said so. I have about four cloves of garlic and one inch of, of ginger and I chopped it fine but you can grate it. We love ginger, so we don't mind a little piece in our mouth, but you can braid it a little more subtle. Subtle? Hmm. <laughs> Alrighty. I have some dried chilies. The, these are my chilies. It's cayenne that I dried not last summer but the one before and I had so many we had a drought two years ago and uh, the peppers kept coming and coming <laughs> unlike last summer which I didn't get too much so anyway I still have some um, this is curry powder at least two or three tablespoons of well, I'll put everything and maybe a little bit more cumin. I wish I had cumin seeds but I don't. 
is at the cottage. When you have two houses, there's always something that you have somewhere when you need it. You're not at that place. <laughs> it's always like that. Anyway, so I'll, I'll just cook those for a minute. I don't want to burn them, but just to release all the flavors in here. And I have maybe a cup of small tomatoes. Uh, these are really ripe, so I, I thought I would put in in here, but they're not necessary. You could put some peppers, um, sweet peppers. Uh, you could put hexans, um, green beans, well, uh, zucchinis, anything you have on ants. Or you just onions and the garlic and the ginger would be fine too. But I had them and I didn't want to lose them, so I'm going to put them in here. And I'll let that cook for a few minutes. And I'll be back. Okay, so everything has been cooked for a few minutes. And it smells divine. And the lentils are cooked. I took the um, ginger out, the pieces of ginger, and I put some, I seasoned it with salt and pepper. And I'm gonna just put it in the pan with all the seasonings and vegetables. And a few baby spinach. This is uh, not necessary, but just a few more vegetables. And this is going to cook at medium and uh, for about um, five minutes so all the, the, the flavor melts together and it's going to become a little bit thicker than this. And I'm going to show you how I serve this after uh, it's been all cooked together. So this is the finished uh, product. I, ha I served it over basmati rice with a dollop of yogurt and some um, coriander. Uh, Dale, this is totally optional. I know you don't like it. And I have some lime wedges that I'm gonna pour over the the meal, um, some lem lime juice over it. It could be lemon juice. So that's it. I hope you like it. Take care, my friends. I'll talk to you later.